Hello everybody, welcome to Juan and Bikes. Today, we're not working at night, this is during the day, and we're going to clean the chain on here on my CXSR, Kawasaki Ninja. Anyway, let's start with this process. Okay guys, let's just get to it. Um, I used a few things uh, during you know the process of me cleaning the the chain. I like to use the Motul Chain Clean C1, right? And the Chain Loop Road, the C2. And, you know, that's the process I use. I also like to keep in hand, like, a, a, a tray like this, a body saw, a, I think a Walmart or something, with my brush. This is the brush I use to to brush, you know, the, the dirt and the grain. Racks, this is just one, but I have a few of these shop racks that I put in the washing machine every, you know, every few, few months. I have so many that I wash them, I don't know, once every three months, the whole stack or more. And yeah, the piece of cardboard. So, you know, in case I need to spray the cleaner around this area, I don't want it to fall on my, on my tire. There's a few ways that you can, you know, clean your chain. Like the most thorough way would be to take out your front sprocket cover here, and you know, and spray a lot of your uh, clean chain all around that, you know, uh, your rear sprocket here, then, you know, wipe it all off with your rag here and all that, and then put your cover back together. Today, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna Lightly clean the chain, then lube it a little bit again, and you know, call it good. The next time I actually do a more thorough cleaning, I will take this off to you know show show you guys how to do all that. I usually you know I like to spray around this area here, so I'm gonna put my pan there to protect my rug here. I'm gonna get my piece of cardboard and you know you can bend it a bunch of different ways I'm just gonna do it this way yeah you can see I have used this before I'm doing it this way so it's away from my tire I'm gonna put it my, my pan there so the way I'm gonna do that this is I, I spray my shank clean right on the chain over here and I will be rotating the, the tire like that. So people do it the other way around, whatever works for you. Uh, yeah, I can see that my, my, my chain here in this area is very dirty like over here and all that. But today I'm not gonna do a lot of work cleaning. I'm just going to get this done like that, okay? So, See, let me do maybe a little bit on this side. All right? Then I get my rug over here. Look at that, how, 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 much, how dirty this thing is. So of course, it has the oil grease for, you know, grind from the road, tire, and rain, and all that. And even over here, I can see a little bit of grime and stuff like that. Usually, I clean that uh, with water. Probably by next month or so, I'll be gonna, I, I'm gonna start doing that. I usually do the actual wash with water, and I use S100. After my, you know, ladder and all that, like once, no, like two, three times a year, I do that. Depending on the, if, you know, on what I have. The chain, but you know, you want to lubricate it and shake for slack and all that. A little loose there, by the way. Okay. 
I, every 500 miles or so, I think the, the manual says, don't call me on that, go check the manual. The user manual is available on Kawasaki, Kawasaki USA? Kawasaki USA.com, I think it is. Anyway, Kawasaki website, you can get all that. See that I'm not cleaning the sprocket, like the sprocket is a mess, it's very dirty. See how this is. Put that aside, get a cleaner one. This is a third one that I have over here, right? So you see, at this point, you may not, you may not need your, your, your brush, right? Depending how, how dirty it is, we can try the brush a bit. Put some cleaning. Just put your brush right there. Alright, it's pushing down. You can like put it this way. Or to give it right to the to the back there. And you know, and because let me get this guy up. Because the chain is actually loose. I I throw my chain loose like this. Maybe it needs a little bit of tighten. That will be another video. But you wanna get like the bottom. So what I do is I put the brush with this side in the rear sprocket. Alright? And then I move my tire like this. Yeah, that should be enough, right? So I'm gonna get my my rug again. My rug. My rag. And you know, wipe it down. Um, you know, I usually do this step after I detail the motorcycle, you know, I use also my other Moto products to do that, you know, and I, you know, clean all everything out and then the last thing is this, but I don't planning to do that today. I don't have a lot of time, but anyway, you want to clean your chain after you wash your motorcycle. This should be like your last step, you know, in case you got water on it and your chain and stuff like that. I need to, to adjust this a little too loose. So we have our, our, our shame mostly clean. Now we need to lube it, right? Again, I use this Motul product because it's available where I buy, you know, when I actually bought the motorcycle in the dealership. And you know, I kind of like it, but you can use any product you want, okay? So, to lube it, I just do it right here again. I just spray it. That's it. I run a little bit the, 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 the tire right and then put my stuff in there. I wipe it, I wipe the excess out. That's as simple as that. Because you want the loop like in between the, right, the, the links. Some of them are sealed, the rubber gasket that it has there, you don't want that to dry it up. You know, there's a lot of videos online that explain all that. That's also just explaining your user manual. You know, so that would be depending on your bike. So you can do this right there. If you want to do the underside, of course, you don't want to like, like spray yourself in the face. You can actually spray over here. It doesn't matter, you get a little bit of grease there, but I just like to do it away from the tire. Or, you know, you can take your cardboard box and, and move it to the back and spray like in the back. That's it. 
you don't have to put all up. So now you take another new rag and wipe it down. All right, guys, this is how you clean and loop your Kawasaki Ninja CXCR chain. This is like the routine maintenance, you know, every 500 miles or so. If you actually need to clean the whole thing, that would be another type of video where you take the sprocket covers off, you know, take this off, clean all this area that is part of the debris from the road and whatnot. But at this point, this is it. Anyway, if you like this type of video, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know in a comment if you think I did a good job. How will you do it? And if you like this type of videos, anyway, thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs> Tired.